Hey guys, Shocker from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 7.0 battery drain problem. So a lot of people are reporting that after upgrading to One UI 7.0, they are having some moderate to severe battery drain problems. In fact, here's one comment I got on one of my videos. It says, for God's sake, please address the battery drain people are having since the One UI 7.0 update. And it's got 67 likes, so that means a lot of people are in fact having this problem. Now, I wasn't aware if there was a solution to this problem or not. However, there is a response to this comment where somebody said that they have an S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra. And after following a specific procedure, their battery drain was in fact resolved. But I also want to mention that I do have an unlocked S25 Ultra and the S24 Ultra, and I was not having any specific battery drain problems. But what we are going to do is we are going to show you what the other person did to fix their drain. And also I'm going to show you guys a couple things to do on top of that to see if it resolves the problem. So first, let me show you a couple of settings you can tweak on your phone that may or may not address the problem. And then I'm going to show you guys what this person did, which he says resolved their problem. Let's dive in. Okay, so here's a very important setting that you want to take a look at. So when you do a major software upgrade, like going from One UI version 6 to 7, there's a couple things that do get reset in the background. So if I go over to my battery right over here, and if I go over to background usage limits, there's a button you can tap over here on the corner that allows you to go into the adaptive battery. So you can see adaptive battery learns your usage patterns. Now what I'm thinking is, when you do an upgrade from One UI 6 to 7, they may reset. So the phone may have to relearn your usage patterns, which could take weeks. So that could be a reason that some people are having these, these battery drain issues. What you can do is you can turn this off and just experience the phone's raw battery without any adaptations or whatever, okay? If that works out for you, that means you don't have a battery drain problem. You can come back and you can return it and then you can wait for it to learn, relearn your patterns with the new software. Let me now show you what the other person did to their phone, and then you can drop a comment down below whether or not any of these things worked for you. Oh, and real quick, one more thing you wanna check really quick, go to your settings, go to device care, okay? Right over here, and just go over to the performance profile and make sure it is at the setting you had previously. Some people may have it here, which gives you a longer battery life over processing speed, okay? So I keep mine in standard, obviously. It's a nice balance between everything, but you can check to see if this is maybe moved after your software update. So you can have that at light, and that is gonna get you some extra battery life anyway. All right, let's move on. So here's a comment where there was a complaint about the battery drain. If I look at the replies, and if you look at the replies, here is the supposed fix right over here. So it says it doesn't affect everybody, which is correct. You can let me know down below if it is affecting you or not. But basically what he did was he cleared his cache partition, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then he fully drained the battery and then fully charged the battery. And he says both the S24 and the S25, no problems. But let me show you guys how to clear the cache partition on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So what you wanna do first is you wanna turn off the phone. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the phone. And there we go. And then press the volume up and the power key simultaneously for a couple seconds, all right? Let's see, one, two, three, okay, it, it came off. And the phone is gonna go into a different menu than what you're used to seeing. Here's what you are gonna see right here. Let me zoom in. So you can see we have a couple options here. You can use the volume up and down key to make a selection. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. And this is the option that you wanna use. It is the white cache partition. And then what you wanna to do to activate this feature is you want to press the power button. That is the select button in this case, okay? It's gonna ask you, this cannot be undone. Do you want to do it? And you're going to say yes. Just make sure when you're doing this, you do it exactly as I am 
showing you guys. If you press a wrong button here, it could mess up your phone, but this is safe. It's just gonna clear the cache. So I'm gonna tap over here, okay, and that's it. In fact, if you look at the bottom, you will see formatting, cache wipe complete. And that's all you wanna see. Now, after that is done, you go back over here, and you can see the option is by default reboot system now. So I'm gonna press power button again, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, so now it's gonna uh, repower the phone. Let's uh, bring it over here to the middle. And that's it, that's step number one. And then let the battery fully drain and recharge. And then I want you guys to drop a comment down below and let me know if it worked for you Obviously, it is going to take a couple days. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below.